Uh, it doesn't get better than this. It does not get better than this right now. Oh, it's just time to catch up with all the lag. IGN, you cannot do this to us! Sorry, not IGN. Nintendo, you cannot do this to us! Oh, God, guys, did you see that? Did you see that epic, epic, just epic trailer? Two new Pokemon games, mainstream Pokemon games for the 3DS or the Wii U, but I'm assuming for the 3DS. Holy crap. Anyways, guys. Guardian Venom back here. Today we are joined with a special guest, sir. If you may introduce your lovely self. Introduce yourself, please. I feel honored. I'm lovely. <laughs> He's very lovely. <laughs> introduce yourself. <laughs> He's, he's, of course, if, if you guys do remember, if you guys really do watch the channel, he was here earlier when I was doing Show Night LP. He, he, he was in a couple episodes. Mm. Man, that trailer, that, oh my god. That trailer is amazing. I, where do we start off? Where do we start off, Jesus? Where do we start off? Oh my god, that was... Let, let's go back, there's some screenshots that, that was there. Oh, uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, there's more over here. There's more over here, there's some screenshots. I'm gonna go right here. So guys, as you see right here, um, of Pokemon Sun and Moon, we do see some Pokemon, a new, a newly designed Pokemon, um, Center, a Pokemon Center. Is that, that's what it's called, right? A Pokemon Center? Um, so yeah, so we, so on the screen you see some images right here, and, uh, this video is from IGN, um, because I, I don't know why the other video that I had wasn't playing, I had it on my own, you know, like, you know, the leaked video, but you know what, this is IGN's, um, video, and we're just, we're, we're just reviewing it, we're just reviewing it, but, um, but, th this, wow, this is like a, li like a, I guess you want to say live reaction, it was just like, it caught me off guard, it, completely caught me off guard. Now if you guys do follow me on Twitter and um, Instagram you can see that I just shared some of the news yesterday last night um, and then Nintendo Direct followed up the next morning. I believe here in the... what are we again? In the South or South America or North America? Why did I... where am I saying South? North America it aired here around 5 a.m. 6 a.m. so I was barely waking up going to school. So was Jesus. So I, I was very surprised. I was, I was in shock. That, that, that's my reaction. Jesus, what was your reaction when you saw the trailer? Did, 
Did you feel like any nostalgia when uh, you just saw like the old like Gen One, Gen Two, Gen Three, Four, Five, and Six? Like, did you like did it hit you in an emotional spot? Like, it's like some, uh, ah, it's just so awesome. I, do, I really like the trailer. Huh? I really like the, uh, Yeah, I, I really wish we would've got some, um, like, at least one Pokemon. I think they do have an image. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, actually, we'll go, no, no, we can go to the Pokemon, then we'll talk about something else. So right here, as you can see, there's, like, a design. Oh, it's on my screen right now. Oh, you guys can see my face. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, now you guys can't see my face. That's amazing. So as you can see right here on the screen that you, um, that we do have Jesus, he can't see us because we're talking to him through Skype. So that's that. Um, Jesus, you know your face is your, your face is missed here. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know if you have your face screen on. I don't know, but. Uh, Okay, well then, no, we don't. <laughs> but, uh, but guys, if you can see this right here, it has, it could be, like, you know, an early, an early image of what Pokemon tried to do when they started. It could be, like, a thrown away image, but I'm going to take a wild guess, and I'm going to say this is, like, the Pidgey of Gen 7. Yeah, I mean, what, what's, like, another potential, it's, it's, you know, it's going to be, like, normal flying fletchling, fletchlinger. Yeah, so it's like, like, um, what was another unique flying type that what? Oh, it wasn't a Pidgey, but like it was late in the game with I think it was it Hoenn with Tropicus. Uh, that he was a flying grass. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean that that's horrible typing. You have ice weakness. You have a rock weakness. You have elect um electric weakness. You, you have fire weakness. Oh, it's just horrible. You can't you can't do anything with that type. You'll get taken out the minute you hit the field. And especially if someone has rocks. If someone has rocks, it's over. It's game over. Mm, yeah. So um, I mean, what do you what do you think it could be? What do you want like as a as a secondary typing besides flying for like a a Pidgey per se, a Pidgey bird Pokemon. What would be like a good typing? Like, is it like an ice flying type? Uh, ice flying? Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is one. I can't think of one on top of my head. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I have a Pokedex story. <laughs> it's, com it's completed. I did this for a reason. I know. This this man completed <laughs> the, um, the Demo Mega Ruby. Um. Pokédex and just just for the shiny charm, just for the um for the shinies. I know it's like that sense of completion. And you're like ah, oh, I can throw away the game now. But it isn't, huh? I mean, it. Let me see. A flying and ice type. It wouldn't really benefit itself because then you literally get hit by like ground types if you get hit by smackdown then they could earthquake you um talon flame will still tear tear that bird pokemon apart so it's like you have to am I, electric flying is there an electric oh yeah emoga yeah that electric flying i don't know i don't know um i wouldn't mind seeing like another generation pidgey even though Fletchling was, you know, one of its kind. Oh, oh my god, imagine how broken that would be. What, what can you hit it with? You have to hit it with a dark type move. That, that's the only thing you'd be able to hit it with. Um, who? Oh, Lugia. Lugia. 
Um, who is it? Uh, describe it, describe it. I probably know the name of it. Oh, not, um, not to, not to, whatever. Exato. Exato. No, I don't think there is, no. Okay, yeah, that would. Um, well, let me see, what else do I want to see? Oh, I did, when um when we were talking earlier, I did want to see, I mean, this is later on, this is not, well, we'll get to the starters right now, we'll get to the starters, but, like, what I do want to see, and I doubt, I doubt Nintendo will do it, but it'd be cool, if they made, like, a dark and fairy type, that, that would be awesome, that, uh, that typing would be amazing. I mean, despite you'll have your poison and ground, I no, not ground, not ground weakness, but you'll have your poison type weakness. But just, I think that would be insane. That would be insane. A poison and um, fairy type, or a dark and fairy. I I would like to. You see, that's why I want like more poison type because let me see, we have. Oh yeah, that's true. But I mean, he dies of psychic types so bad. Um, like I think the more successful one would be Scrafty, as you've seen. Yeah, a dark and fighting type, so he's resistant to fight um to psychic, but he gets killed by his own typing with fighting. So now, so. So that's, I mean, what what other typing, like, you know, besides the starter, like, we'll get to the starter right now, but, like, what other typing would you want to see, like, in the, in the wild for the sun and moon Pokemon? Um, I think in the beginning, it shouldn't be, like, something like, like, OP, 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 that kind of be, that kind of defeat the purpose of you getting, like, something like that. Yeah, that, that's true, that is true. Because, I mean... Yeah, because if you look at Gen 6, it gave us, u like, you know, unique typings, even though we had a fire psychic already, but we've never had a grass fighting, we never had uh, a dark and water type, so that was new, or water dark, I should say, with primary water being Foki's, you know, element. Um, yeah, protein is broken, it's really, that's, wow. Yeah, it is, it really is. Now for starters, I I really want to see what the starters look like in this game. I really want to know. I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea on how the legendaries would look. Now, 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 now. Imagine Soul Rock and Lunatone as the legendary Pokemon for Sun and Moon. Uh. <laughs> Watch, I'm calling you right now. I'm calling you right now. You're, you're gonna see them. You're gonna see them in, you know, in their respective region slash, you know, ver version of the game. You're gonna see Lunatone transform into a, a legendary Pokemon for that game. <laughs> Just watch. Just watch. W would you be mad? I know. Well, no, not really. Look at um. Look at um, black and white. Look at those. Those like, well, weren't those like the first dragon and fire types? Like the dragon fire types? No, he got the mega evolution while after in Gen Six. Remember? Well. Black and White came out first before Origin. Origin barely came out of, like last year or so. Oh my 
Yeah, because Black and White came out, what, 2011? About 2011? I feel like it's 11. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just want to see what like interesting typings they do. Like if they do um have dual types, I want to see. Um, I am interested to see like you know what they do for the dual typing. If they do it for the starters, that'd be interesting. You know, give us more unique typings like you know grass fighting, water dark, and then fire psychic. That. I thought the fire psychic one was gonna be awesome, and to be honest, bikini. Yeah. What if they reverse the typings this time? Like, um, let's say they give a uh, grass and dark type. Oh God! Imagine that. No, 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 well, I mean, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be dark right away, he, you know, once he evolves to his second stage evolution. Like, just imagine that, like, what, like, how would you picture a grass and dark type? Oh, man, I wouldn't. That, what that, is that, that is crazy, that's crazy, that's definitely crazy. Um, alright, and then so then for the, for like a fire, a fire fighting type, imagine that. That's, uh, basic enough. Oh, yeah, 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 oh yeah, okay. Um, wow, I lost myself right there. <laughs> Is there, um, a water psychic? Water psychic. I don't think there is. Okay, I have a crazy typing for you. There? Yeah. A water psychic. Yeah. Who? Oh my god, how do I? That's Gen 1. How do I forget that? Oh, you're right, you're right. You're right. So, what would you choose for like, um, like a secondary type for water? Like for its last evolution? Like, um, if you want, we'll come back to you on that one, but, um, for the second one, I do have a, it's insane, but it does have its, like, great weakness, unless they make it, like, a levitate type of Pokemon, but can you imagine a fire electric type? Or, like, a fire, oh, no, no, they have a fire and type, but imagine a fire and electric type. That, that would be amazing, but um, if it doesn't have Levitate or anything, you know, I mean, you can put an Air Bloom, but it, like, if it doesn't have Levitate as a natural ability, it, it just gets destroyed by, um, by Earthquake. Every day. Every day. It's like, that, that's insane. So, um, so what about your water? Like, what would you be your secondary for water? Yeah, that's true. I was gonna say they already have that, but that's, um, it's Swamp. another Pokemon. It's water and rock. Water, oh, yeah, 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 he is. So that would be, you see, that was, that was another unique typing back then when it came out. And I mean, he's still like one of the most, I say, good, like, you know, powerful Pokemon to this day, because, and especially with his Mega Evolution, oh my god. Is that a Water Dragon? A Water Dragon? Um, Palkia. Really? Yeah, it's, water, it's Dragon Water. I believe it's Dragon Water. A water steel? I don't think so. I do not think so. Ha ha, I guess it is. 
Yeah? Of course. Who? Napoleon. Who? Oh yeah, Napoleon. Oh my god. You see, that was more. That was like one of the more forgettable Pokemon. Because whenever I think um Gen is it four? Gen four, I always go back to Torterra and um Infinite because those two were just monsters. Empoleon was like, eh, you know, okay, unique typing, unique typing, but you get hit by fighting types, you still get hit neutral with water, earthquake, electric, and it's just, you know, it was, it had weaknesses, it had weaknesses, is what I'm trying to say. Really I'm pretty sure they have almost everything. Yeah, uh -huh. except for that electric, um, that, that water... I don't know, what did I say? The fire and electric, huh? Fire and electric? I don't think so. Uh, I would love to see that. Okay. Here's the, here's the insane thing. Here's some insane, some insane ideas. So we'll keep the grass and dark. I think that's unique. Um, oh, no, 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 no. They do have um, grass and dark. Um, shift 3, yeah. I was just thinking about that right now. But like as a starter, as a starter, there's no grass and dark, so that you know if you still use it, you still use it. Um, now imagine the grass and dark, the fire and electric, and now imagine they actually let you have a dragon type as a starter, a dragon and steel type like Pal like Dialga. I would, I would immediately. Immediately, like the grass type could have the coolest design, the fire type could have the best attack status or mixed attack, but I will automatically choose the dragon and um and steel type. I will that right there. Holy crap! That no, your your dragon steel. Why are they gonna be fairies? You can learn flash cannon, you can learn gyro ball, you can learn um I mean I'm talking about like in the beginning, like does he earn still be like more still to be in a second second evolution or Uh no, I would I would save that to the last because if that was in the beginning and you want fairies in the beginning as well, you can't have the steel type because that just beats the okay, 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 I see where so you're coming from. I know because when you got to Lance, you you don't know what you were expecting from Lance. It was just like, okay, this guy's intimidating. He brought out a damn um, dragon there, and then he had like two dragon knights. Like, what the hell? Oh, man. Oh, man. That was scary. And it's like, um, I don't know what to do here. And it's just, you know, you probably restarted your game like seven times because he beat your ass so bad. He's like, bring that ass here, boy. I'm a outrage. No, I'm a dragon rage you because outrage wasn't Gen One, but I'm a dragon rage you, and that does forty every time. So what you got? Like, you know. Oh, that's so dumb. I hate that. It's a really good move. Yeah, for Gen One, it was a really, really good move. Yeah, you, it's just it's amazing. Oh my god. And then, um, so guys, and then the next thing that we're looking at right here on the screen, we'll, we'll come back to the Pokemon talk, in, you know, right now. But, um, another thing that we do see here on the screen, we can actually see potential characters. I don't know if they are the main ones. He kind of does look like Red. If you've seen on um, Pokemon Origins, you've seen how Ren was always dressed with, like, his red coat and the hat. It potentially looks like him. And if you look at the lady that's right here on his, in front of him, towards the, you know, like, aiming towards the left. It looks like Serena from, um, Pokemon, um, X and Y. Or, yeah, it's X and Y, right? The yeah. series? Yeah. So it kind of looks like her, but, um, like, you know, just a similar design. And she has a suitcase right there. And then you can see the building behind her. It's a nice building. It's really well detailed right now. It looks like a an earlier stage of it but 
It looks really good with the water fountain being right here and the horsey spreading out like the water. So it looks nice. So far I'm liking the design. What I'm really curious to see though, um, Jesus as well. I'm curious to see where this is going to take place and what the story is going to be behind this. Yeah, like what do you what do you mean? What do you call a region that you know that the world already revolves around the sun and the moon with you know us just rotating and then you know the sun hitting one face of the planet while we have the moon? Like, is one game gonna be like an internal like overall the moon and then you know once you pass the game will like or you fix like the day and nighttime setting and you know same thing with the sun version? What do you think about that? What? Uh, they had it in Soul Silver, but you Oh, yo, that, that was... Right in 3D, huh? But the one Pokemon that I would always probably have in my party, and I would love to see the 3D animation. Yes! Cool, 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 cool. I was. Yes! <laughs> like, imagine it's always like a tile or a space behind you, and it's just like cool, 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 cool. Oh, that's Ash and Pikachu in the first episode, remember? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. That was, that was just... You have to imagine Magic Card just following you. <laughs> just, like, splashing all over the place. Like, cool, cool, cool. Oh. I like when I got, like, Lumia. I like having Lumia following me. Oh, my God. That's... Right? Oh, imagine! Oh my God! Imagine Snorri like. Oh my God. And imagine if he trips and like you look back and he's just like falling on you and then you know game over. <laughs> You're done. You're done. <laughs> it's like we're gonna take your records off, you know. <laughs> Like the 3D animation and follow you? Yeah. That would be amazing. I would love to see that again. Um, hopefully they do that. Um, one future that I, future, future, uh, one thing that I do want to see, um, that they bring back was the, the Hulk changing clothes. I thought that was really unique when they did it in X and Y. Yeah, X and Y. I, I thought that was really cool. Um, let me see. Another hope that I have for the game. Have you seen, um, Ash's Greninja? Yeah. I, I, I would like it if you can, like, um, you know, put your, like, put a, like, a suit, I guess, if you, if you could dress up your Pokemon. And, you know, kind of have it, like, permanent until you want to take it off or you want to change it and whatnot. I think that would be really cool. I would like that. I would like to see um, them try that one day. You know, in the near future, of course. Yeah. I mean, what what else can we talk about? What else can we talk about that we see in this trailer? That's true. You think they're gonna bring back the skates or like um have like. You know how they had um Latios and Latios in the Omega yeah, Root? I wonder. It, it'd be cool to ride on different Pokemon, not just Latios and Latios. What? Don't get me wrong, which was fine. Which was fine. It was it was awesome. I liked the whole um, mechanics of that. But um but like imagine riding in the back of a Stalamance. Imagine riding in the back of Charizard Y. And you know, etc. Oh my god, I would love that. I would love... Nintendo, Nintendo, make that happen. Make that happen, Nintendo. 
<laughs> they have to make that happen. It's done. It's confirmed. That's it. That's it. It's confirmed. <laughs> oh, my God. It would be. It really would be. Oh. Let's see. Yep. I would not be able to. Oh, man. I've been chasing Pidgey on my fucking. I've everything, huh? Like, you know what? I'm not gonna walk. I'm gonna fly around with my Pidgey. Imagine the adult, um, adult duo, though. Oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't even have wings, but it flies. <laughs> it doesn't even have wings. Magically, God loves legs. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't believe that. What are you doing, God? <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah, guys, that's, um, those are our thoughts. Those are our thoughts on, um, the new. The new trailer that we got for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Uh, let let us know what you guys think about that. Like, what um, what what you guys think? Like, did it give you a nostalgia feel? Like, does it does it want to bring back any memories? Like, you know, what ideas do you have for this game? Like, are you excited? Are you Team Sun? Are you Team Moon? Personally, me me, I am I'm gonna go with Team Moon just because I like the overall idea of you know what what that could potentially be. Uh, what about you, Jesus? What about you? What are you? What are you? What are you gonna pick, sun or moon? Um, honestly, I'm still waiting to see what happens later on when I see more like footage. footage and then I'll see. I'll, then I'll be able to choose my. Yeah, guys. Uh, we're we're definitely gonna be all over this when there's more news. Uh, like in, you know, a good abundance of news. Um, I'll get Jesus right back here if he has the time of day. Of course, and we'll, you know, we'll get back to it and then we'll, we'll tell you there. But as of right now, I'm going with Team Moon. If my opinion changes, then so be it. But, you know, I'm liking the way Moon is right now and sounding. So that would be cool. So, um, so yeah, that, you know, that's, that's that. Um, I'm just excited. I'm really excited. You can't tell, but I'm super excited for this. You, you know, I can't even tell you how much I, you know, I am.